You know? Alright, here we go. Did they hang another pinata? No! What the fuck? No. What is that noise? Stop trolling, game. Don't do this, game. We're back. As you can see, today we're playing another psychological horror game called Bloody Hollow Fest. Now, apparently this game is about a summer camp Halloween event going wrong, you know? So that already sounds interesting to me. Um, also, the Steam description is really is really what made me want to play this game, you know. So I don't want to wait. I don't want to waste no time, you know. The official Steam description for this game is: On the night before Halloween, Maya and her friends gather at the summer camp, eager to set up a special event for the youngsters. Together, they deck out the place and prepare games for Halloween night. What starts as a fun night takes a horrifying turn when a stranger wielding a bloodied axe barges in and snuffs out everyone's lives. Now, Maya is forced to run for her life. As she unravels the escape plan, she also delves into a sinister secret behind the killer and the motives that led to such a massacre. Alright, here we go. Bloody Hollow Fest. Let's do it. That Steam description really, really, you know. It's an interesting description. Alright, we got a phone call? What's this? Maya, who is it? It's me, Jeff. You were supposed to be at the camp hours ago. Oh, shit. Sorry, Jeff. I overslept again. I knew it. Ty, did you hear that? Pay up my 20 bucks. I won the bet. You bet that I will oversleep? Relax, you get 50%. By the way, since I knew this would happen, I told Tyler an hour, an hour ago to pick you up at the bus stop, you know, the one near your house. Well, thanks, Jeff. I better grab my stuff and not keep Tyler waiting. Hey, Ty, hand over that 20 bucks. All right, so I'm Maya, I'm guessing, and I gotta I gotta go to the bus stop and wait for Tyler. Why are we in an alleyway? I can't go home. I have to meet Tyler. Okay, so that way is home. Um, we got some dirty ass mattresses, some bed bug, stanky mattresses probably. All right, this is a weird alleyway. All right. I'm guessing we go this way, this is the only way we can go, right? Um, I'm gonna go this way. This seems more lively. And I see some uh some mail what is these some mailboxes or some newspaper boxes over here. Yep, here goes the bus stop. Alright, um Where's the first piece of bullshit we're gonna get this game? Because I know it's gonna happen at, the, at this bus stop. I can just tell. We got a newspaper. The, pol the, the police are investigating the disappearance of three young women in the last seven days. Three women, aged between 20 and 24, have gone missing this week. A resident in the area claims that on the night of one of the disappearances, he spotted a strange individual lurking around the vicinity of one of their homes. However, due to poor lighting in the area, he could not make a positive identification. The city is bewildered by these events and authorities have advised residents to avoid going out after dark. Secure doors and windows and report any suspicious activity to the emergency hotline. Alright, so I'm guessing this is going to be the motherfucker that's at the camp bullshitting, right? I'm guessing this is going to be who, you know. That's my speculation. What the fuck? Maya, damn, what a scare. What are you doing here alone? Buses don't run this late. Who the fuck is this? Could you get out of my face? Hmm. Has no one taught you not to approach people like that? Are you waiting for someone? It's none of your business. I'm waiting for a girl. It ain't me. It's not me. Get the fuck out my face. On second thought, I think I've already found her. What you mean by that? What are you talking about? I love walking at night. The silence, the city changes completely. Dude, you're nuts. Yeah, bro, get the fuck out my face. Buff ass motherfucker. Man, we're uh, we're, we're Jeff at who, who picking? We're Tyler. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I'm not getting. This gonna be the, he gonna be the weird motherfucker at the camp. I know it. 
I don't know about this dude, man. He said he waiting for a girl. It's not me. And he said, I think I found her. Yo, yo, bro. You, you, you like, what you doing? You gonna let me be? I got somebody coming. Yeah, I'm not having. I don't, I don't got good. I don't got good vibes from this dude. No, no. Why am I stuck to the bench? What's going on? This nigga got a knife. No. Tyler. Oh my goodness, this nigga Tyler came in clutch, man. What the hell? That's definitely gonna be the weird motherfucker at the camp. 100%. Hey, Maya, who was that guy? I don't know, but he gave me the creeps. There are some really weird people around here. Come on, get in. Say less. It is what it is. Who's this? Okay. Tyler, and here we are, one more year. What's the plan? We gotta finish decorating the place with the Halloween stuff and get some of the games ready for tomorrow. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to get everything sorted. Go drop your stuff off at the cabin and meet us in the dining hall. Alright, um... I'm damn near scared to walk around this motherfucker. Is it, it, like, did he follow me or something? Find your cabin and leave the backpack. This is not my cabin. We gotta search all these motherfucking cabins, man. Not my cabin. There we go. All right, we got our cabin. I'm gonna close the door. Can I lock this? Can I lock this? I can't lock it. I need to watch my surroundings. This would be some bullshit. I don't know if that the motherfucker found. You know, I don't know if he followed me or whatnot. All right, place backpack and meet with the others. Okay, so we need to find the people at the dining hall, right? I can open this door. I don't look. Like, I don't think that's the dining hall though. Here we go. What up, y'all? I'm gonna close this door. Y'all good? What the fuck is y'all doing? All right, Maya, Maya, you finally arrived. Come on, I have something to show you. Alright, Beth, what you got to show me? Some weirdos in that motherfucking dining hall, man. I don't, I don't know about that. One of those people probably the killer, too. Alright, we in uh, we in a random cabin? It's not my cabin. Oh, it is my cabin. I got the backpack. How's life in your new city? Did you get the job you wanted? Yeah, though it turned out to be crap, like every job I've ever had so far. Sometimes I think I should have stayed in the town and continued with the family business. Maya working at her parents' bar for her whole life? No way. You've always been a rebel, but always, but also the smartest among us. You just have to keep trying. You'll get what you're looking for in the end. You think so? I'm sure. What do you think? What is that? Wow, is this what you have to show me? Yep, I'm wearing it tonight. Okay. Who's the lucky one? Jeff. You're dating Jeff? Shh, the others don't know yet. I don't... Damn, I clicked too fast. Wow, just wow. Since when? Not long, just a week. Despite being a joker and seeming like a jerk at times, he's a romantic. Maya, Beth, let's all gather by the fire. Join us. Who's Todd? Did he scream that out the door or something? Ready for our annual horror story session? Not really, man. I guess so. Let's go. Alright, gather with the others by the fire. Oh, is that them? Say less. Alright. Alright, everyone's here. I'm sure you've all heard about the counselor who lost his life in this very camp 20 years ago. His name was Derek. It all started as a prank by the other counselors on a night like this, also during the preparations for the Halloween party. The counselors thought it would be fun to play a prank on Derek, but first they had to spook him, so they all gathered by the fire to tell a horror story, just like we're doing right now. 
One of the counselors told the story of the pumpkin killer. The pumpkin killer? Yeah, it's an old legend. My grandma told me about it when I was a kid, many years ago in the town. They found a witch and burned her alive, but before she died, the witch said that every year at midnight, right at the beginning of October 31st, her spirit would return to seek revenge on everyone. The fuck? It's said that the curse brings back a serial killer who can't be hurt or killed. His head is covered by a pumpkin, and no one has ever seen his face. After finishing the story, one of the girls started screaming, pointing towards the trees in there. There he was, the pumpkin killer, holding a bloody axe. Everyone started screaming and running, but the killer was only after Derek, who ran to his cabin and locked himself in. One of the counselors cut the power, and then everyone surrounded the cabin, banging on the walls. Leave me alone, I haven't done anything, Derek shouted from the inside of the cabin. You could also hear him crying, then everything fell silent. After a few seconds, Derek's friends started laughing and shouting, It's a prank, Derek, you can come out, we're sorry, but Derek didn't answer or open the cabin door. Faced with the silence, the, counselor, the counselors started to worry, so they turned the power back on. One of the guys entered through one of the windows to find out what was happening. Derek was dead. How the fuck was he dead if it was a prank? The one who pretended to be the pumpkin killer was one of Derek's roommates. It seems that while he was picking out the axe for the prank, he left the others lying on the ground. Due to panic and darkness, Derek tripped and fell head first into the only axe whose edge was pointing upward. His friend, his friends found him in a pool of blood with his, what the fuck, with his head split in half. All this from a prank? God damn! Then, damn Tyler, not funny. It's hilarious, ha ha ha. Alright, enough of the stories, we need to get to work. Maya, there are still some decorations left to put up. Can you place some pumpkins at the entrance? I think there are still some in the lake cabin. Sure. Alright, um, the pumpkin killer. I'm 100% sure that this motherfucking pumpkin killer is gonna somehow show up and try to kill me or all of us. That's my speculation, that's my guess. Look for the pumpkins and candles in the lakeside cabin. Where's the lakeside cabin at? Um, is there a lake over here? Where's the lake? Is it down this way? I haven't been over here yet. Okay, there's a cabin right there. I think that's a cabin. Let's go this way. This gotta be it. Yep, the lake is right here. What the fuck y'all got going? Hey! Hey, kissing and shit? Oh, that's Maya and, uh, and Jeff, right? You tissue your head to your cabin? Oh shit, we've been busted. Relax, Maya knows. What, you told her? Maya's a good friend, she won't say anything. I'm a tomb. Come on, Jeff. You and I have something pending. Oh, Maya, could you do me a favor? What do you need? Jeff and I were supposed to go pick up the Halloween pinata and hang it on the gallows. Could you take care of it? I guess so. Where is it stored? In the workshop near the forbidden area. You mean the old workshop? Yes, they haven't started building the new one yet. Weren't they supposed to construct it this summer? That was the plan initially, but the guys couldn't gather enough money. Oh, I see. Alright, I'll handle the pinata once I'm done placing the pumpkins. Thanks! Alright, we have them freak-ass niggas kissing in the cabin. I don't even want to go in here. Alright, we got the pumpkins. Look for the pumpkins and candles in the lakeside cabinet. Where's the... Alright, we got the candles too. Now we gotta go all the way back to the entrance. Place the pumpkins at the entrance. So we gotta place the pumpkins down, right? There we go. Now I need to find a lighter. Maybe Tyler has one. Ask Tyler if he has a lighter. Where the fuck is Tyler at? Is he, is he in the dining hall, maybe? Or is he at the campfire? No, nobody's at the campfire. Um... Let's check the dining hall first. I see they hung up the decorations. This Tyler? Tyler, do you have a lighter? I left it with Todd. Go check inside. Alright, yep. There goes Todd. Alright, make sure no weird shit going on inside here. We got the window real quick. Alright, what up, Todd? Do you have Tyler's lighter? I needed to light some pumpkins. I left it on one of the tables, but return it when you're done. I still need it. Sure. 
Oh, here it is. Okay, we got the lighter. Now we need to go to... Okay. So no bullshit has happened yet, you know? We have the person at the beginning of the game with the, with the knife, but... I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna let that slide. So no bullshit has officially happened yet, you know? It's done, time to get the pinata, but first I have to return Tyler's lighter to the tide. All right, let's go return it. Here you go, Todd, here's the lighter. Thanks. Look for the workshop and pick up the pinata. So is the workshop over here too? Because I seen I seen two little cabins this way. So is it over here? I hope so. I'm gonna have to run around this whole camp. Oh my goodness! All right, that wasn't too bad. They bullshit at the camp though. Is the pinata any anywhere over? Okay, here we go. Okay, that is the pinata. Time to go back and hang the pinata on the gallows. All right, we got the pinata. What is the gallows? Is that the thing that Todd was messing with in the in the dining hall? Oh, okay, here it is. This is the gallows. Then I think there's nothing more to do. I'll go see if they need help in the dining hall. All right, so the pinata's hung. Now we gotta go back to the dining hall, see what the motherfuckers need, man. Let's do it. Nick's sitting up here like he cool. Todd, what you need? Hey, Maya, grab a beer and join the party. Is this what you call a party? Where's Tyler? He said he was looking for you at the workshop. I thought you got lost. He'll be back when he sees you're not there. All right, uh, what's going on with the lights? What's wrong with the lights? Do you know if the generator has fuel? What's wrong? I activated it this afternoon, but I forgot to check the fuel level. Great, at least we have the pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins, what do we do now? Someone has to go to the generator. Here, take Tyler's, of course they're gonna take the fucking female. Bro, you're a grown man, go to the generator and, act and put the fuel in. What do you mean by take Tyler's lighter? Who, me? No way I'm not going in the dark to the generator. Okay, so I must have told him. I clicked too fast, but I must have told him why, why, aren't, you, why aren't you going to the generator, you know? Oh, come on. What's that smell? Oh, I know. I think you've crapped yourself. You should change your pants or you'll attract all the flies around here. Haha, <laughs> look at me laughing. Alright, can I take the lighter then? A grown man asking, asking the lady to go to the generator. Unbelievable. Oh! I thought you got lost. We went to look for you. What happened to the lights? Todd forgot to check the fuel level of the generator. Typical of him, by the way. Where is he? He stayed in the dining hall. He's too scared to go to the generator in this darkness. Hopeless, I'll go with you. Thanks. Alright, so... Where are Jeff and Beth? Busy. Busy? I think they're still with the decorations... I think they're still with the decorations, games for tomorrow, and all that. Ah, well, I thought we were done. Apparently not. There should be gas in the workshop. Go ahead and check the generator. I'll be there soon. Now this motherfucker not going with me. God damn, I'm really alone. Alright, so we spawned right by. Is this Tyler? Is this not the right uh, workshop? I'm guessing it's the other one. Alright. Here we go. Tyler, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? The generator is broken. What do you mean? Someone cut the cables. Are you sure? Maybe a rat chewed on them. The cuts are clean. It couldn't have been a rat. Wait, I'm coming to see. Here's the bullshit! <coughs> Tyler, are you okay? Tyler? Aw, oh, shit. Crap, what's happening? No. Not my nigga Tyler, man. All right, man, we gotta look in this workshop, huh? Nothing? Where's Tyler at? Um, so am I supposed to go back? Before I go, I need to find out what happened to Tyler. 
How am I supposed? How am I supposed to? A handprint. Is that blood? Tyler, I hope this isn't this isn't one of your pranks or you're dead. I better go back to camp. Yeah, we. Yeah, let's go back to camp. Hundred percent. Let's go back to camp. It looks like the bullshit is coming slowly. You know, it's brewing up. You know. All right, here we go. Did they hang another pinata? No. What the fuck? Todd? God, Todd. Who could have done something like this? I have to find the others. Beth? No. What is that noise? Stop trolling, game. Don't do this, game. Why, why, why is the song, why is the music playing like that? Beth, I'm coming, damn it. Somebody behind me. Maya, what's going on? I'm busy. This bitch, I, I, we need to call the police. Someone has murdered Todd and Tyler is missing. All right, Maya, I don't have time for jokes. It's not a joke, I'm telling you. Todd is dead. Someone killed him and hung him on that damn gallows. Fine, Maya, whatever you say. Now I have to get back inside and see what I was doing. What was that? Jeff, are you okay? Jeff? Give me a second. Oh my goodness. So this so this motherfucker in here having entanglements with Jeff and I'm out here fighting for my life. With motherfuckers being hung and shit. Are you gonna come out, Beth, or what? God damn. She got the rope right there, door chain. I need something to cut that damn chain. Alright, something is lighting up on his what is this? Damn it, Todd, I'm sorry. I'm scared, man. I don't like that music. Yeah, where at? What y'all doing? What the fuck is going on in this? What's going on? Beth, we need to call the police. Jeff is dead. I know, and I'm sorry, but we need to tell someone or we'll be next. Beth, I need you to react. Fine, I'm sorry, can you call the police? So everybody at the camp dying. They, they taking us out one by one? That's how it is? Beth looks abs... <laughs> what is this, man? What is, what is this? What is this? I guess I guess Jeff was desperate, you know? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't getting no coochie, in, 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 you know? I'm not mad at him. You gotta do what you... You gotta take one for the team. You know, it is what it is. Uh, you good, Jeff? I don't, I don't think he good. It's a screwdriver. All right, so we know where the screwdriver is, just in case we need it. Um, Big Buff Beth. That's what I'm calling her as, Big Buff Beth. Her ass buffer to me, probably. All right, can we talk to you? And she got a, a my motherfucking boozy fade. What the hell? God damn. This is not a woman. Jeff, Jeff might have got, he might have, he might have got tricked. This ain't no woman, man. All right, can we leave? What do we do? Okay, we got a phone. The phone isn't working. I think someone cut the line. What about the phone in your cabin? I don't think it's a good idea. Whoever is doing all this must have destroyed all the phones. They don't want anyone leaving. What the hell do we do? Maya? The cars, right. The damn cars. Where are the keys? I don't know. Tyler stored them somewhere. They could be in his cabin. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. Okay, I'll go check. I'm coming with you. I'm not staying in here. All right, the man is coming with me. No! Fucking bastard. What do I do? Um, damn it, I, I need something to remove the screws from the window. We got the screwdriver. Perfect. We gone. We out. Where do I run to? No. Okay, we got a ladder. Do we put the ladder over here? Um, okay. Right here, right here. Got the ladder right here. Perfect. The window. Where could Tyler have put the keys? Um, no keys here. No, not again. Okay, he's outside this door. Nothing here. Nothing here. No keys here. 
God damn, Tyler, where the keys at? No keys here. It seems like he's gone. Where the hell are those damn keys? The keys are not in the cabin. Think, Maya. Maybe I can cross the lake with one of the canoes. I think there are some houses on the other side. Maybe they can help me. Ah, shit. Here we go. All right, now Beth is dead. Tyler's dead. Um, Jeff is dead. Um, so is that three people dead so far? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be a victim. It is what it is. You know. I ain't live all my life to die like this. So the the, the, the killer gonna have to. I don't know. I'm not gonna be one of his victims. All right. Let's go. Let's make a run for it. We gone. That's the pumpkin head killer they was talking about. I, I knew it was gonna happen. Didn't I predict earlier that that was gonna be the motherfucker that's gonna terrorize the camp? All right. Tyler, you're alive. What? Are you okay? Someone attacked me when I left the workshop, but I managed to escape. I think I have the cuts all over my body. Where are the others? They're all dead. Beth, Jeff, Todd. I forgot Todd. Todd died too. This is the nightmare. Where are the canoes? I don't know. I ran here to get one and, and cross the lake, but there weren't. they weren't here. I don't understand what's happening. Damn it. We have to find a way out of this place. The camp gate is locked, the car keys are missing, phones don't work, and the canoes are gone. Yeah, this... Alright, so this killer is obviously a professional. Um, he might have been a resident at the camp, so he knows all the ins and outs of the camp. Yeah, the motherfucker, he hit the keys, cut the phone lines, the canoes are gone, so... It is what it is. How are we supposed to get out of here, swim across the lake? The lake is too big to swim across, we'd freeze and drown before making it to the other side. Exactly. We have no way to escape. We're both going to die. I'm not going to die. Tyler, speak for yourself, man. But there has to be some way. Of course, why didn't I think of it before? The Forbidden Zone. What's there that can help us? Have you ever heard the story of the tunnel? What tunnel? What are you talking about? When I was a kid, my father told me that the children from the camp started disappearing, but later they reappear. This went on for several days. One day, a counselor secretly followed them and discovered the kids had found an old tunnel hidden in the ground. Apparently, the tunnel led to the other side of the road. And do we know how to get to the tunnel? I only know it's in the Forbidden Zone under one of the cabins, but I don't even know if the tunnel really exists. Maybe it was just a story. We don't seem to have many other options. We should go check if that, if what you were told is true. Fine, let's get going. I hope you know how to get there. I could barely find the workshop. Don't worry, I know the way, but stay close to me. Alright, now we have to rely on a, on a mysterious tunnel that could be, you know fake but I trust him you know I trust Tyler I guess I'm gonna be the lookout no what's that noise what was that hello is someone there shut up idiot what if that's the killer and he hears us the killer we better hurry let's go let's go you don't gotta tell me twice Tyler wait damn it Tyler Oh my goodness, man. This nigga ran like Usain Bolt. Where'd he go? I gotta watch my back now. Where did Tyler go? I don't know. We gotta check the cabins. Why is the grass overgrown? I don't think it was like this before. Oh, we got a diary. Today marks one year since Jack's death. We all miss him and feel guilty, especially me. I'll never forgive myself for suggesting that break. Maybe I should have told the police instead of claiming it was an accident. I can't stop having nightmares since it happened. Sometimes I think I shouldn't come back to this camp anymore. The longer I stay here, the worse the nightmares get. Tomorrow I'm going to su suggest moving in near the lake. I'm sure the others will agree with me. Today I talked to the rest of the group about re relocating the camp near the lake. Everyone thought it was a fantastic idea, so in September, we'll start preparing the ground and building the new cabins. Alright. Okay, I'm not- hold up, what was that- what was that green? I stored the revolver in the safe. Hold up, a few minutes ago, the, the guys and I decided to close the camp and not reopen it until we move in near the lake. I think it'll be good for all of us to leave the, this place for a while. 
I've stored the revolver in the safe in my cabin and notified the police to pick it up. I told them I left the combination written on a laminated card inside the well bucket. Alright, inside the well bucket. So is there a well? Somewhere in here? Or in this camp? Where's the safe at? Is the safe in this cat in this room? Alright, let's find the well. I'm guessing that's the room we needed to find, right? We don't have to check all these other rooms. I'm guessing. Mm. Alright. Mm, that's the generator. Oh, my goodness. What the fuck? No. No. What the hell? What the hell? Did we just let him out? No. I think we just let him out, so now we gotta worry about him the whole... While we find the whale, at least. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Um, Where are we going? I don't know what's over this way, but I'm going anyway. I don't care, just, we just gonna have to run. It is what it is. Hopefully the whale is over here somewhere. Shit. That scared the hell out of me. What the hell? Okay, this is the camp. Uh, I don't remember seeing no whale over here. Oh, here we go. I need something to retrieve the bucket. Maybe a hook like the one Todd used to hang the pumpkins. There might be one in the workshop. No, I gotta go back to the workshop. Um, where's the where's the walkway we just we just left? All right, this is the way to the workshop. Oh my goodness! All right. Hopefully he isn't coming down this path because he was this way. Here we go. All right, we got a hook. We're gonna go back. We're not gonna waste no time because we wanna make it there before the killer makes it there. All right. What do we grab? Do we have an inventory? How do we read that note? Or do I just take it and go to the cabin? Um. All right, I'm gonna just take it and find the cabin with the uh, with the safe. We really got no other options. I need to look out for this motherfucking killer too. Here we go. We got the safe. Revolver, cabin key. It looks like the key to one of the cabins. What cabin? Maybe this one. No. I maybe need to stop closing doors behind me just in case he's in the cabin. So I'm gonna stop closing the doors behind me. Oh, these cabins are already open. Maybe the dining cabin. Stop trolling game. Stop trolling game. All right, what is this? Note from Tyler. Today marks 20 years since your death. I've been living all this time with a strong hatred in my heart, but finally the day has come to let it all out. To avenge those, to avenge those who took away, who took you away from me and mom. I do this to honor the memory and mom's. She took her own life shortly after you left. And now those who still survive will feel what I felt. When I snatch the lives of their children, their lives will be left in darkness, just like mine was extinguished. With love, Tyler, you'll always be in my heart. Wait, what? So Tyler's the killer? Hey, Maya, surprise. I see you're at a loss of words. Did you know it was your father who ended my father's life? What? No, I didn't. I've been waiting for this day for years, and it's finally here. They'll finally feel what I've felt all these years, and my father can rest in peace. Maya, you're sick. I'm so sick that I'll chop you into pieces with this axe and send you home to your parents in a box. 
I love to see the looks on their faces when they see what's inside. You're insane, you're a damn psychopath. Am I a psychopath? Your father started all this. My mother, my mother took her own life after my father's death. I became an orphan and I'm the psychopath. You've murdered my, you murdered your friends. They weren't guilty of anything. Of course not. It's not personal against you guys, but against your parents. What? We were trying. This is not how it's going to end. Not at all. Definitely not. Hold up. Yep. <clears throat> we were, yep. Come on. Oh, come here. Uh -huh, how many shots I got? How many shots I got to get off on him? I'm busting his ass right now. I died? What? All right, we're going to keep trying until we get it. This nigga got me, he got me fucked up. <laughs> All right, one off. Two off. Three off. We won. We got it. Brittle floor. The part of the floor seems more fragile than the rest. All right, so do we need to... All right, yeah, let's get his axe. There we go. Tunnel entrance. I can't believe Tyler was the killer this whole time, man. What? He one of the niggas that was helping us. All right, now we're in a desolate tunnel. Um, we're just gonna run until we find the way out. I'm sure there's gonna be a jump scare somewhere in this motherfucker. All right, this way. Yep, we got the arrows. All right. Oh, this way. Which way is it? Do we go this way, maybe? No, this way. Okay. Here we go. What's this? We got red. Where do you think you're going? How is this nigga still alive? You won't be able to get out of here without the key I have in my pocket. What do I do? Do I have to find him? So I'm chasing him now? What's going on? Tyler, where are you? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running. Oh, oh my goodness, man. All right, my aim is obviously a problem. Um, It won't be a problem this go around, though. I can tell you that. Here we go. No, sir. Should I just stay in one spot the whole time? I feel like that'd be easier since he runs to me. That might be the, that might be the uh, the strategy. No, sir. Try again, buddy. Almost, almost had me. No, sir. No, sir. All right, we got the key. Here we go. We should be able to get out this motherfucker, right? It is what it is. Now we make a run for it. I must have been walking for about 10 minutes. Looks like a vehicle is coming. Okay. Are we going Are we going to get out the street? Who is this? Thank God I need help. What's going on? Someone has murdered my friends. I guarantee there's going to be a killer too. This, is gonna, this might be Tyler, right? This is, this is going to be Tyler, right? What? What are you talking about? Please, I need to speak to the police. Oh my God, come on, get in the car. There's an intersection up ahead. When you get up there, don't worry, I know the area. Thank you. 
I need to keep an eye out, uh, eye out for this nigga, you know. All right, um, is this the intersection he was talking about? Which way do I go? I'm going to the city. You not gonna let me out? You, you just missed the intersection. Ah oh, shit. Hey, I'm talking to you. Damn, let me out. This the motherfucker that was at the bus stop. What? That's the end? So he basically had to run away from two killers. The, uh, then they got the bus stop and, and the pumpkin head killer. Damn. So they're gonna leave that on a cliffhanger. I wonder if there's gonna be a part two to this game. This was a very good game. I was I was into the game the whole time. Um, man, that, that, that was a good game. I'm not gonna lie. Bloody Hollow Fest, I loved it. I definitely wanna check out other games from this developer if they have any more. Um, and yeah, that was Bloody Hollow Fest. If you liked the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, do whatever y'all do on the YouTube streets, and I'm out.